Uh, my name is Emily Castillo. I teach the horse class. Um, I, during the year, I am the horsemanship instructor and also the equestrian team coach at Truman. I teach the students about all the different aspects of horses that we can fit in within three weeks. So they learn all about the different bones in the horse's body. They learn all the skeletal, um, some of the muscles. They get to draw the skeleton on the living horses to help them understand how the skeleton and the muscles work together. Um, they learn all about the evolution of the modern horse, uh, theories about domestication of the horse, um, different breeds. They learn about coat color genetics and um, how we get different colors of horses. They learn about um, tack and equipment reproduction. Um, they also learn about some of the different current uh, issues that are involved in the horse industry. Um, and they, then of course they spend a lot of time riding. So they learn about riding technique and um, how you get the horse to do different maneuvers and things like that. They go out to the farm every day. Um, they did get to take a tour of the farm one day. We have about 400 acres. Um, and when we're riding, we only use a small portion of it. So we did get to take a tour out and see some of the younger horses and um, some of the pregnant mares and the stallions and things like that. Um, and they also, they went to our um, other facility we have where we house horses sometimes. Um, so they got to see all of those horses. Um, and then most of the trips they take are just to the farm and back. It's probably not a big surprise that the students enjoy being out at the farm the most and learning to ride the horses and things like that. Um, but a lot of them also really enjoy learning about um, like coat color genetics and how horses come, like if you take this color mare and breed to this color stallion, what the possible color babies you might get. Some of the ones that are interested in pre-veterinary stuff are really interested in, they learn how to take the horse's pulse and their temperature and their respiration, so they're interested in learning to do that. Um, and also we talk about different diseases the horse can get, so they're pretty interested in that, usually the pre-vet ones are at least. A lot of the things we talk about, especially like coat color genetics and diseases and things like that, have a lot of basis in science and can be applied in other classes. Um, the genetic stuff, you know, you can apply it to lots of different animals. Um, the horse specific stuff, I, I would like to think that if the students encounter one of the diseases that we talked about, they might be able to identify it, even if they can't necessarily treat it, at least they can say, you know, they can tell their vet, okay, my horse has a temperature of this, um, he's, you know, he's not eating, he's not drinking as much as he should be, this is one of the things I think it might be, can you come check or something like that, um, to help them, you know, be better horse owners, be more aware, of their horses problems they might have and things like that. There is a very wide range of experience. I have some students who have their own horses, you know, and have shown and done things like that. I have other students who take regular lessons. I have some students who, you know, they have horses at home that they ride on occasion, but they're more of pets necessarily than riding animals. And then I have some students who really have no experience with horses at all other than maybe going on like a guided trail ride, you know, on a vacation or seeing horses at like a theme park or something like that. So we have a full range of experience. The first time riding is usually a very exciting experience because it's something they've looked forward to, but it also can be a little bit intimidating, okay? The idea of a horse is really cool, but when actually faced with the physical horse and how large the animal is, and sometimes how opinionated the animal is, it can be a frustrating experience if you can't get your horse to cooperate the way you would like and things like that. Um, but I think for the most part it's a very exciting experience, it's an enjoyable experience, um, and the, the fear and the, you know, the anxiousness tends to fade away as they get more and more experience. Yeah. The university has around 35 horses, um, and then some of our horses are pregnant right now, we don't ride the pregnant horses. Some of them are very young, um, we have, because we have a breeding program, we have horses of all ages from, you know, two months to 27 years old. Um, so we have about 15 to 16 riding horses that we generally use and then I cut some of them off for the summer because they're just they're not acceptable for kids at this age they're just they're a little too high strung or whatever so we have about um, 10 to 12 horses that we use for class so we do some sharing and some switching and things like that so they get experience riding different types of horses you know little speedier ones little slower ones um, they get experience riding both English and Western and the two different types of saddles and things like that. 